I'm Big Cal and welcome to my world. Today I have an unboxing video for the amazing mystery box. I uh, just saw this recently on uh, Ashen's channel so I figured I'll give that a go as well. Just buy the one just to do a cool video on. Um, if you want one I'll put a link in the description. Um, I also use the code free tea which um, gives you an extra t-shirt included as to what would normally be in the box. I don't know how long it lasts for or anything like that, but that'll be in the description too. Give it a try and see what you get. So this is a bunch of like film, TV show, memorabilia and all this from some shop somewhere. They just have boxes of the stuff that they're trying to get rid of, so they're doing these mystery boxes. So let's uh, get it opened. Put the old shishers and see what we get inside. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we shall open up the amazing mystery box. Okay. Let's see, dear mystery box buyer, we had a spat of interest in our boxes yesterday following one of Ashen's YouTube reviews. <laughs> um, yep, uh, that's worth it. It's quite possible that your orders were related to it. Not everybody remembered to use the voucher code that was shown in the review, so being the nice guys we are, we've automatically included the second shirt in all orders that were probably related to the video. So, okay, I did use the code, so that's okay. Um, Yep, and we're just saying we hope what you like, you liked what was in it, and you know, hashtags and Instagram, Twitter, and thingy images. So, the first thing we have in here is Superman Man of, Speed, Man of Steel Break Apart Motorcycle. Okay, you can combine it, and then he will break it apart, I guess, with his, with his arms. I don't know if he has an automatic action or anything, but uh, there's the fuck is this purple? Oh, okay. Adventure Time. Lumpy Space Princess. Is creepy as fuck and I'm not exactly a big fan of Adventure Time but I do know somebody that is that might be interested in this. If they actually watch my videos they probably don't but oh well. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, we have a very creepy looking Yoda um, keychain. Monstrously sized keychain at that. Uh, no, 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 you call that uh, just a, a giant Yoda. Mmm, keychain I am. Very freaky. Uh, we have a mug and it's the Muppets. Um, uh, we have, yes, 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 can we get it out without uh, doing much? Uh, uh, no, I'll, so I'm just going to assume it is the animal on one side and maybe just him again on the other. So, actually looks quite cool. Uh, right, so we have an Avengers Assemble, um, just a notebook. Funny, I was in town yesterday and I got a notebook that was pretty much identical to this in style with the huge rings and the thing, uh, but it was Star Wars. Also, also from Marvel, um, it just has Kylo Ren on the front, so I now have two of these to use. Uh, we have a pen, which is fucking Twilight. Mm, fuck you. Um, one of the t-shirts, sadly, is Despicable Me. Can't really say I care about that, it's just one of the, uh, the minion duties, you know, with the eyes. Uh, Despicable Me 2, Stuart Upset Face. 
here. So there must be so two items left here. I'm purposely avoiding one of them. Um, the next is an Arrow t-shirt. Uh, some dude from the TV show Arrow, which I don't watch. As I say, there really hasn't been anything here for me beyond the notepad and the order. But this thing, this last item in here definitely really very much interests me. And for starters, it's Spider-Man, and I love Spider-Man, except for the films, because they completely fucking ruined Spider-Man. And please, Marvel, Spider-Man Homecoming, make it good. I need a good Spider-Man movie. My childhood needs this. But anyway, this is from Ultimate Spider-Man. Ah. Oh, it's actually uh, already um, opened, which isn't very good. <laughs> but it is an Ultimate Spider-Man ice cream maker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, easy ice cream, shake to make. Hey, ready in two minutes. Hmm. Uh -huh. So since it's already opened up, I think this, I think everything else, you know, that I don't want to keep, which is everything about the notepad and the Yoda and probably the Adventure Time thing that I'll give away, probably going to sell everything else. But since this was already open, probably going to keep it because it does kind of interest me. I do now want to make a video using this. Oh my God. Rather good to go in there. Uh, that's Spider Man's head. Guessing that'll screw on top and then he just sort of I'll shake up the ice cream. Oh, okay. What are these for more recipes? Then we've got some asorbe. Mm -hmm. Base mix. Uh, um, Rocky Road, mm, uh, Spider-Man's Web Slinger, okay, uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, we got the proper instructions I think somewhere in here, yes here we go, spoon away, well I've got the instructions. And see if I actually have any of the ingredients I might need to make them. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Right. Okay. So step one is that you would place that into the tube. Okie dokie. Step two. You would fill the cone up to the ridges with your recipe, which would be one of these. Okay, spoonfuls of strawberry jam to the base mix. Da -da 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 -da. With the base mix then is um, four spoonfuls of sugar, three spoonfuls of semi-skimmed milk, stir and then follow the instruction sheets. So. After you've done that, you then put some crushed ice into the tub, up to the ridge. Uh -huh. Pour three tablespoons of water and three tablespoons of salt. Screw on the top. Shake for two minutes. Unscrew, but don't remove the cone, don't worry. You've made ice cream, but it's stuck to the sides. Scrape with your freezer spoon and mix, and then eat. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, I uh, don't have any double cream, so that's needed for the base mix as well. Uh, uh, don't have any strawberry jam, uh, don't have any chocolate sauce or cocoa powder for the Rocky Road. Uh, we have mini marshmallows, and I won't be including the nuts because those are disgusting. Yeah, so chocolate sauce, strawberry jam, and double cream are basically the three main ingredients that I would need 
to test this. So there will be a test video at some point in the future. Um, uh, so the actual boxy thing. Um, it cost 25 quid and that's with a free t-shirt as well. So uh, as far as the t-shirts go, especially for branded things, these usually cost about you know, 15 to 20 quid each. So with two of them as well, you've definitely probably already got your money's worth. Uh, a branded mode like this will go for at least a fiver, so that's good. Random little figure, two or three quid maybe, probably more, I don't really buy them so I don't know, so again. Um, this thing, if it's anything like the, uh, the the Star Wars one I bought yesterday, 150. Uh, the Yoda thing, again being branded, and Star Wars, which is now also part of Disney, probably cost you a couple of quid at the very least. Shitty pen, I don't know, maybe a quid. Uh, this ice cream maker thingy, I don't know, I, I personally wouldn't think it should go for more than a fiver, but that's just me. And the uh, pool toy. Um, I don't know, probably maybe a tenner or something daft if you were to have bought it brand new. So as far as getting your money's worth, I think you get a ton of value in here. But of course it is really a big mixed bag in terms of you know the brands and the, the, you know, the franchises that you're going to get things from. I don't like Adventure Time. I don't like the Muppets. I don't like Twilight. I like the Avengers. I like the non-film Spider-Man. I like Star Wars. I don't like Superman. I don't like Despicable Me. I don't like Arrow. So, uh, in terms of stuff I want, get rid of all that, whether it's selling it on eBay or giving it away. Um, keeping the whole free items for myself. This one mainly just to see, just to do a video on if it fucking works. They sort of score a shelf somewhere. And this will be the book that I use after I film my Star Wars one. Which, um, and the reason that I have these notepads is when I have video ideas and things like that, I'll write it down. I'll usually you know, sort of like plan out my month with content. I, I, I prefer to write it down rather than type it all on the computer. That's just me. Um, yeah, so that's what I use those for. I uh, probably will get another one of these in the future because you can get like specific branded ones. There is one where you can just get stuff from Star Wars, for example, which I, that, that'll be the one that I will definitely get in the future. Probably next month, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you're a um, big movie TV buff, you probably get more joy out of it than me if you like a lot of this stuff. Yeah, while I do like a lot of TV and films, um, at the same time there's still a lot that I don't like and I'm very fussy about. So yeah, for me, I didn't quite get the value I wanted out of it to want to keep, but who knows, I might make my money back by selling this stuff. So I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.